It's been a real tough life lately, right? Things have been closed down. It's been really tough, this whole COVID-19 thing. But one thing we all still need to try to find to do is relax. Everybody has their own fun way to relax. Whether you've had a bad day at work, you fought with the wife, you know, you got yourself into a fender bender. When you get home, you want to relax. Well, that's the question you put on social media for this edition of The Brew. What is the best way for you to relax? We want to share your tips. Let's all make ourselves better right here. And well, you know, Joel and I, we like to have fun. We'll find ways to do it. So there he is out there in Vegas. Joel, what is your favorite way to relax? Beer, baseball. No, 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 actually, baseball, then beer, um, and then also pizza is really good, and then pussy is really good. I think those are the top four probably for me. As they say in the feud, good answer, good answer. <laughs> nice. Hey, you know what my favorite way is to relax? Reading a book. No, it isn't. <laughs> You know me too well. It absolutely is not. Two things. So, you know, and the one thing I'm going to admit that got me through the whole COVID, you know, this whole lockdown here in the East Coast, a little bit of booze. I mean, it helps, you know, loosen you up a little bit. It definitely makes things better and make sure you're 21 or over and don't come after me. It's just, you know, if you don't agree, it's, it's an opinion show. We're not always going to agree. The second thing, though, I do is when I've really had a real tough time. I like to take a hot shower, and I'll even one-up that. I have this Las Vegas radio station I put on the iHeartRadio app, and I'll chill out for a little bit and enjoy, like, oh, okay, a little bit of Vegas there. So it kind of takes me away to better times when I'm actually out there with you on the, on the West Coast having a little bit of fun. So I'm man enough to say I don't mind taking a nice long hot shower. Just wish the hot water tank would last longer here, though. I usually end up draining it by the time I'm done. It's actually kind of an underrated uh, answer. That's a good one, because if you actually have the time where it's not going to ruin your work day when you get out of there. Like, you can actually sit there and soak. Like, those are really, 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 really good ways to start your day. Joe Rogan on his podcast said that it's, like, therapeutic for you to go in there and stuff. It does. It actually, like, helps heat your body up and, like, circulates the blood and stuff. I'm not a doctor. I don't, I don't even play one on the internet. But, yeah, I guess it's it's good for you. Yeah, I do it on my days off, actually, and just, like, sit there for a little while where I can actually enjoy it. And it definitely makes a difference. Like, I don't know what the science is behind it, but there's definitely science behind it because you can feel it. It is. It is. I mean, I wish I had, like, a hot tub or something I could get into, too. But, you know, a purse private hot tub. I don't want – when I'm stressed out and, like, in the shower, I want to be by myself. Just leave me the hell alone for a few minutes. You know, that's why I'm glad I don't have kids pounding on the door or something because that's, you know, when you want to, like, relax, you don't want interrupted. You're just going to have to jerk off. Hey, it's not that kind of show. Let's keep this <laughs> – <laughs> let's not get us flagged by YouTube. All right, let's get to your suggestions, though. Speaking of getting us flagged from YouTube, and some of these are about to, what is your favorite way to relax? Well, here we go. Because Woody Jr. says, a great workout followed by a little recreational smoke. Okay, oh, and three puffs. I guess that's all he needs. Nicole Pipitone, she says, smoke a joint. Thinking along the same lines. Kelly Hoover Ross says, a long run and an ice cold beer after. Oh, enjoying our beer. Rock for guitar. Oh, he agrees with this, Joel. Vodka. Wonderful vodka. I guess it depends, too, like, how high of your drinking tolerance is, is how much booze you want to have, because you don't want to go yeah, too far and, and like get the hangover. This. So, since uh, Vegas has only been able to deliver wine, like, for whatever reason on apps, except I found out earlier today that we can now finally have everything else delivered. And I already know that, by the way, we can get marijuana and our groceries are able to get delivered here. So now there's absolutely no reason for anyone to ever leave home. I have to admit, like, here in the East Coast, we were the first area to be allowed to get booze delivered. Delivery.com, you know, they'll, they'll card you the door. I've done it lots of times. There's several local distributors here that will do it. It's not really on, like, Uber Eats yet, not on Seamless yet, all the other big ones, which I know aren't across the country yet. But that's been a nice feature I've enjoyed here for years. And on Delivery.com, like, you get points. So, actually, it's like it's a casino loyalty program. So, like, when you spend enough money, you get free stuff. So, you can use it for free booze. Mm. Yeah, good deal, I guess. I guess it's a good way to kick it off. Two words that make a lot of people happy. Free booze. Well, pretty much anything free. Let's get to Jay City up. Pick's comment. He says, watching your team pull ahead early and keep pouring it on. Then I can relax and watch a Yankees blowout, Kansas basketball blowout, Buccaneers blowout. Not sure the last time I got to watch that. Hey, now, baseball, as you know, we love, and it's not really relaxing, but it does feel great when you are watching your team and they're, like, destroying the other opponent, you know, like, like 17 nothing. Like, you know you're safe and a guaranteed winner. I don't know if I ever get to the point where it's relaxing because my team's never really blow anybody out by that much, but um, it's a nice feeling. I don't know. I, don't, I think the sports part is, like, the opposite of relaxing. That's the adrenaline-inducing, don't go there. 
That's the most relaxing scenario in sports, but it's not even relaxing. I don't know. I, I find that nice relaxing. But, hey, that's, that's, that's a part of that's, that's, that's the deal with sports, though. You never know exactly what you're going to get. But Bronx Bombers 46 has the last comment. She says, drinking is an, obviously, uh, is an obvious one, but lately I've been working on myself physically, mentally, academically, all aspects, and it feels great. Less emphasis on acquaintances. Lol, it's finally me time. Look, I gotta give gotta give her credit. You know, that's I, I think that's the definitive answer of the show because she's actually like taking some me time, which is what you need. You know, so she's turning this whole like COVID nineteen being locked down into a positive. Good for her. She's finally eligible for that live life laugh fucking <laughs> sculpture on the wall. Good for her. You know, it's, it's it's nice that she has a good answer for us to wrap up the show with. But what also is a good way to relax? You click that like subscribe button down below so you don't miss the four big shows here. The Jersey Joe the YouTube channel. We have fun here each and every week. So relax and show oh, out porn. With us. Porn is a great one. <laughs> hey, you have to pay for that. You do what you want to do on your own time there. But <laughs> join us here each and every week. Jersey Joe, I am the box there saying thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time, my folks.